Okay, we have uh, Danjuma Ahmed, Chairman, uh, Air Transport Services Staff Association Fan, Lagos Branch. Danjuma Ahmed, uh, good to have you on the show. You're in Abuja studio there. Um, first of, uh, tell us exactly why the authorities do not want unionization in the sector, in the aviation sector. Hello, good morning. I think. Um that is the level of lawlessness we, 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 we find ourselves in this country. Uh, for the past four years, we've been uh, writing to the management of Bicotin Aviation Services Limited, uh, indicating the interest of uh, their employees that they needed to join uh, our unions. Uh, several times they reject our communications. They sometimes don't even allow our dispatch officer to even drop the letters we sent to them. We kept uh, going in that direction, you know, trying to appeal to them that for them to know the need uh, for us to allow their staff to join the union. But unfortunately, all it fell on deaf ears. And um, we, we, we now had to be compelled to send some delegation to the management of Bicotony Aviation Services Limited for them to understand that the law of the land allows an individual the right to belong to any union or association of his choice. That was not heeded to. Uh, suddenly, the, some members of staff of the Bicotney Aviation Services Limited came to our secretariat and offered to accept our forms and join our union. About 46 of them, I think. We now communicated that to the management of Bicotney Aviation Services Limited via a memo that so, so, so number of staff of the, uh, the organization have indicated interest to join our union. A day later, 26 of them were dismissed from service. Mm. Most of them served over 10, 8 years. They were sacked with 30 dime. So we wrote a memo to the management of Bicotini and objected to that action, citing extant laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but all fell in deep ears. We had to move to the regulator, we wrote to the Nigeria, uh, Niger Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. And the director general of that agency called for a meeting with us and the management of Bicotini mm. in order to resolve that impasse. All to null avail. The security agencies, the DSS at the airport, the police, the SSS, and Air Force, we all met, they discussed with us, we told them our position, and we also hinted to them that, look, if the management of Bicotini could not allow us to unionize, we'll be forced to do what we know how to do best. If I can interrupt you very quickly, Danjiba. Yeah, uh, we have followed yeah. this story for the past six months, and we understand the processes and procedures yeah. you have gone through. I also understand what your yeah. grievances are. But there are some who would mm. say that, what about the implication? Uh, look at what happened yesterday. Passengers stranded, mm -hmm. heavy uh, traffic. traffic. Imagine someone who has a life or death situation and who wasn't allowed to travel yesterday. Uh, bearing in mind also that by Cotney, according to by Cotney, it had gotten um, obtained a court order, court order. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, restraining members of your union from shutting down Nigeria's only privately owned terminal. Are there not other ways to resolve this issue? Uh, perhaps going to court, other than shutting down operations. No, no, I, I, we sincerely are not happy with the development, actually. No any responsible union would like to put uh, citizens to a kind of hardship like this. But like I said, we followed all the processes before I arrived at this. And the court order you're talking about, we were not served with that court order. If you look at the court order, it was dated 9th, and nobody, was, nobody served us. That aside, the agents, particularly the regulators, the effort made by the management of NCA to resolve this matter, I, let me, I tell you, Three times, management of Bakotu walk out of that meeting. We have tried as much as possible to ensure that this kind of situation does not arrive. But unfortunately, the management of Bakotu are not willing. In fact, the MD categorically stated that it is over his dead body that union will come to MM2. Are they above the law? Is Bakotu over and above 182, uh, 120, uh, 200 million Nigerians? The law said this is what should be done. Why are they different? That's why we keep always keep kicking against concessions. Look at the kind of concessions. Who, what, uh, like you rightly said, 
Who, who, which right-thinking businessman can come and invest in Nigeria with this kind of problems? Look at impunity over, everywhere. An individual taking the country to ransom. On the issue of concession, of course, you've been fighting this since uh, last year. And uh, like it's, it's been established, yeah. government really has no business doing business. Um, a, a lot of people who have been using this airport would say to you that because it is now in private hands, mm -hmm. that it's actually uh, better in terms of efficiency and service uh, delivery. I, I wonder what you have to say about that. <laughs> That's, uh, well, that they're entitled to their opinion. You, 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 you go, when you go to MM2, mm -hmm. you know what we are talking about. They have been operating. Do you know that for the past 12 years that they have been operating, they have not paid a dime to, f to fund that provide services to them? They are owing for over 2 billion naira as of today. When so you say, when you say they, about? now are you talking outside, about you see, by looks Courtney? Beautiful. Yes, by Courtney. We offer, we, offer, we offer security services to them. We offer operational services, fire cover. They don't pay. Even light and utilities. They don't pay. That you might have sometimes and last because year. Because all the because sometimes last yeah. year, um, the National Union of Air Transport Employees urged the NCC, uh, the NCAA, uh, to reject proposal for the commencement of regional flight at the uh, Murtala Mohammed Airport mm. Terminal Two. Some are saying that I hope this issue is not more than what you know we can see. More political I mean, than anything else. But what are your yeah. thoughts about that? No, to me, it's not political. MM2 has no capacity to run regional flights. That is the truth. Look at the, look at the, the size of that terminal. They have only six IBO bridges. When you are operating domestic and the original flights, how can that going to be possible? When you have at the largest airport in the country, MMA, lying there. Let me give you an instance. If a passenger is traveling to, a, 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 to like, assume, a, example, Rwanda from here, and he is to connect another flight maybe from Abuja, Instead of him coming from uh, Rwanda direct and land in MM2 and move away, you are not telling him to move from MM2 to, to uh, from MMA to MM2 before he now flies to Abuja. Is that right? That is stopped facilitation. Mm. That aside, where are the facilities to run uh, domestic, uh, regional operations in MM2 when they have not even satisfied satisfy the, the, the domestic uh, operations? That is why we kick against it. There is no any political undertone as far as we are concerned. All right. Danjuma Ahmed, Chairman, Air Transport Services, Senior Staff Association, uh, FAN, Abuja Branch. Of course, uh, we cannot exhaust these issues around the aviation sector uh, with the time allotted this morning. I uh, would like, of course, to have you again sometime uh, in the nearest future. But for now, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning.